Hello and welcome to the WBAP 82570 KLIF weather podcast from the Cumulus Broadcast Center in Dallas-Fort Worth. Chief Meteorologist Brad Barton with you and uh, glad to uh, have better news this week. Uh, what a week we had with that major winter storm coming through, the major cold front, temperatures getting down into the low teens Friday and Saturday morning across Dallas-Fort Worth, Denton and McKinney. Uh, and of course we ended up with uh, quite a bit of sleet which turned into ice some freezing rain which was ice to begin with and then also on top of that we wound up with two to three inches of snow yeah it pretty well shut things down wednesday and thursday in the dallas fort worth area but things are looking up not only today but probably the rest of this week and maybe deep into next week as well we may get a pretty nice valentine's day out of it although the weekend following valentine's day the weather may become more active here's our early morning visible satellite loop across texas uh, that's not really haze that you're seeing. That's just the ground is becoming lighter as the sunlight moves in over Texas. So beautiful, clear day across Texas. There is some rain in the Gulf of Mexico moving on up toward from Matamoros, really on up to New Orleans uh, across the Gulf of Mexico. And then a little bit of rain also. The tail end of our system from uh, Raleigh, Durham, North Carolina, be moving on up toward the uh, mid-Atlantic through uh, Virginia and Washington State and Baltimore and so forth. But that's not going to bother us anymore. The weather map as of noon Monday shows that rain on the mid-Atlantic, maybe a little bit of mixed precipitation in New England. Uh, some routine lake effect snows across the Great Lakes and really not much else. Everything else is pretty quiet right now. Here's today's weather map through uh, 7 o'clock Tuesday morning. A little rainy and stormy along the east coast. Some lake effect snows uh, up there in the Great Lakes. A minor system trying to move ashore in the Pacific Northwest, but it doesn't really amount to much. That system will move across the Canadian-U.S. border and begin to pick up a little more snow, a little more cold air as it moves to the east during the day Tuesday, Tuesday night into Wednesday morning. But again, nothing unusual for this time of year. Still some rain and snow mixed left over in New England. Uh, as we move on through uh, Wednesday to Wednesday night, then we see heavier snows through the Great Lakes, rainfall as well, and also some uh, pretty good snows coming down through the Rockies. Good ski weather for a lot of folks, but you don't see anything around Texas. A little cold front comes through on Wednesday, but again, let me show you this pattern right quick, and as it was explained why we're not getting rain out of these fronts that we're going to see coming through the Dallas-Fort Worth area. The overall pattern, now this is the global forecast system, and I'm having to use the entire North American view rather than the continental U.S. view we normally use, but if you'll notice uh, on the left side of your screen, there's the this big high pressure bubble, everything going clockwise around it. And the uh, Pacific systems are coming up and over that high pressure bubble. And then they work their way back down, but they don't pick up any moisture. They lose their moisture uh, over the northern Rockies, come back down and eject across Texas and bring a new front down. And that's going to be kind of the pattern for the next few days. But it's going to result in generally dry weather uh, for uh, most of Texas for the next week or so. You'll see a couple of spotty showers trying to come through early next week. And then after Valentine's Day, uh, we could see more significant rain in the weekend after Valentine's Day. That's where we are now on the 19th where you saw the model stop and you see a little bit of uh, freezing precipitation. There may be uh, Tulsa up into the Ozarks right there. And that's also a pretty significant cold front coming down. Look how these fronts are working. Now for the next several days they're going to move across the northeast and continue to slide you know, southeast across the country. But then we have another big one that starts to move right on down toward the Dallas-Fort Worth area. And that's what we will be dealing with on the weekend following Valentine's Day. Sharply colder weather once again. Maybe not as bad as this last go around, but it will be chilly as we move through the weekend following Valentine's Day. This particular map is for sunrise Saturday, February 19th. No big deal right now. It doesn't look like we're going to have much precipitation with it, but it will be uh, probably an ice maker in other areas of the country. Here's the expected precipitation on that day. Again, some uh, icing maybe around Tulsa and the Ozarks, maybe up toward Branson, but we'll get some windy, much uh, colder temperatures coming in from Canada on the weekend following Valentine's Day. But we have a long way between now and then, and we have some great weather to enjoy this week. Sunny, breezy, and mild for the rest of your Monday with a high of 54. Uh, just a breeze out of the northwest, fair and cold, lows 30, 35 tonight. And then the Dallas-Fort Worth area gets above freezing for some time We're uh, at night. We're looking at sunny, breezy, 65 tomorrow with a low of 37. Southwest winds, uh, to thank for that. On Wednesday, sunny, continued warm with a high of 63. Thursday, mostly sunny with a high of 63 as well. And we may touch 70 on Friday and then cool down just a little little bit this weekend. All in all, not bad at all. Well, thanks for joining us for this week's weather podcast from WB820 and 570 KLIF from the Cumulus Broadcast Center in Dallas-Fort Worth. 
Chief Meteorologist Brad Barton. Enjoy the weather. We'll talk to you the next go-around. Bye-bye.